Thousands of years ago, farmers in the Mediterranean packed a soft white cheese into clay pots. And recently, archaeologists found traces of this ancient cheese inside pottery from two archaeological sites in Croatia. Now, this type of cheese is actually fairly simple to make. So today, we're going to recreate our own version of this 7,000-year-old cheese. And we're going to turn this into this. We don't know for sure what kind of recipe these ancient farmers used 7,000 years ago to make their cheese, but the recipe we're using today is fairly simple and straightforward and is one of the oldest known methods for turning milk into cheese. This might get a little cheesy. To make this cheese, we use a half gallon of milk. You can use pretty much any kind of milk. The fattier it is, the better. And you don't want it to be ultra pasteurized because that's not gonna ferment very well. A quarter cup of vinegar. For this cheese, we used white vinegar. You could use lemon juice. Almost anything acidic will work. Some seasoning and some cheesecloth. First, what you're gonna do is you're gonna heat up the milk. So you're gonna put that in a pan and you're gonna put it at a low heat. When the milk is steaming and almost ready to boil, you take the pot, off of the stove and you add the vinegar. And you'll be able to see almost immediately, the milk is gonna start separating. You're gonna see the whitish curd starting to separate from the yellowish way. Most cheeses use something called rennet, which is an enzyme that is found in the intestines of sheep and cows. And they all do the same thing. They cause a reaction that breaks down the curd and the whey and separates them. You wanna let that sit for about 10 minutes. And while that's sitting, you're gonna take cheesecloth and you're gonna line a strainer inside a bowl. All right, you ready? This is, where, this is where the magic happens. So you take the pot and you're gonna pour what's in the pot into your strainer. What's in the pot right now may look a little nasty. It's this kind of white, gloppy, yellowish mess, but it's about to become something awesome. And then you lift up the cheesecloth and you're gonna see the whey is gonna start to drain out, leaving the curd behind. Genetic evidence shows that early farmers were actually lactose intolerant. So children could drink milk, but adults really couldn't. But when they started fermenting milk and making cheese out of it, that took away a lot of the lactose, and that meant that adults could eat dairy too. And by fermenting milk into cheese, they created a food that wouldn't spoil as quickly and that they could travel with. So this actually made it easier for farmers to leave the Mediterranean and expand into Europe. You could say they just followed the cheese. Once all the whey is drained out, then you can take the cheese and scoop it out of the cheesecloth into a bowl and add your seasonings. You definitely want to add some salt, but you can add different kinds of herbs too. You can experiment with whatever tastes good to you. It's your cheese. We season this cheese with salt and with herbs, but cheeses are also seasoned with things like bacteria and molds, and those are what gives some of the ranker, sharper cheeses their distinctive flavor. It's <laughs> just a little cheesy fact for you. So you're gonna stir that up, and then you can actually eat it right away. But if you want your cheese to be a little drier and a little firmer, you can wrap it in another layer of cheesecloth and put it in the fridge in a bowl with something heavy on top of it and just leave it there for a couple of hours or even overnight. Once your cheese is done, it should be good for about two or three days in the fridge. Now, most examples of ancient cheeses come from the traces that they leave behind on pottery, but there are some examples of actual preserved cheese. Scientists recently found a piece of cheese in a tomb in Egypt that's 3,000 years old. Some people said it might be cursed because it came from a mummy's tomb. This cheese, however, is definitely not cursed, unless it's cursed with deliciousness. We're gonna have to find out. That is a fine piece of cheese. 